I used to watch my father as a child when he used to draw, especially when I was in school. And I used to just watch in amazement because he would barely take the pencil off the paper. It would be just one smooth line and he'd finish the drawing. It's funny that over the years when I started drawing and I, I you know, evolved as a designer, I have the same habit of drawing and making these, you know, the pencils so sharp. I need a sharp pencil because my drawings are so precise. They are architectural in many ways. Most of my free time, I'm always sketching. I'm putting ideas on paper, right? And the ideas can come from anywhere. You know, sometimes I use my reference books like you see around me. It could be, you know, textiles, it could be architecture, it could be miniature paintings, all kinds of things, you know, fascinate me. Having said that, today, it generally begins with the stone because I buy all kinds of gemstones. And most of the time, when I buy the stone, I've already decided, or the stone has already dictated what it's going to become, how it's going to be mounted. And it's like we speak to each other. Like I've decided to buy a sapphire, for example. I bought a sapphire, and I already decided that this was perfect for a ring. And that's what it's going to become. There's no hesitation or there's no, you know, two, two ways about that. I only deal with precious stones. I was exposed to that at a very early age because my father and forefathers only dealt with precious stones. So it's mainly, you know, diamonds, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, natural pearls, and that's it. You know, and that's all the stones I use. So it's a very limited palette. The copy of the drawing is given to the craftsman with the gemstones. Sometimes the stones are missing, we'll, we'll acquire them later. And I explain to him how the jewel is supposed to be made. So he follows that, and at every stage, he comes back and asks me for my opinion to see how is he on the right track. And of course, the final test is when it's complete is to place it on my drawing and see. It's always perfect. This is the scale drawing, the pencil drawing which I've done. Now, if one has to place the jewel on the drawing, you see that it is exactly to scale. So we mount our jewelry mainly in platinum and uh, sometimes in gold, but most of the time in platinum. A lot of people question me because platinum is not an easy metal to work with. There are not many jewelers around the world who work in platinum. In truth, there are a lot of metals people use, titanium, and, but I'm just very old school. And we cut the stones specially for the design, which is very rare. Here, as you can see, this is designed as a Mughal flower. You have these blossoms, like poppies, stylized poppies. And here we've cut the, the diamond petals, especially for the design. They're flat like glass, which is a technique which is extremely difficult and requires great skill. I think that there's no modern design coming out of India, jewelry-wise. I probably am one of the first few to come up with something unique with an Indian identity, but in Westerners can relate to. Today, you know, we, I think 70% of our clients are foreigners. So there is a resonance in the West with what we do. Yeah, because it's unique. It's unique to us. Nobody else does it. And I think that sets us apart from the rest.